I've been teasing this video for weeks and weeks and my friends, it's here. If you're new to the channel, welcome to CompTV, a place you can go for all things tech. I'm Lee, and I've loved PC hardware for as long as I can remember. In many ways, this video is the culmination both of this channel and my personal experience in PC tech. More specifically, this build which I've titled Gladiator 2016 will be representative of the passion and focus of this channel, and hopefully will grow as we do. As a quick disclaimer, this video is going to be split into three parts. The modding and painting of the case, the build on the first boot, and then the gaming and rendering performance benchmarks. This is in order to keep things from dragging on, but let me know in the comments what type of video lengths you like. I know I tend to skip around on longer videos, but maybe that's just me. So with that said, I'm going to give you a rundown of the parts anyway, because that's always what I want to know when I'm watching a tech video anyway, am I right? But to see a complete list of the parts and their pricing, check the PC Part Picker link in the description. Okay, so I decided to do this part a little bit more of a vlog style in order to keep things personal, you know, so you guys know that I'm not just some robot pumping out random videos. Uh, but here you go, starting right here, at the heart of the system, we have the two CPUs. These are the Intel X5650s, 2.6 GHz, 3.1 boost-ish, we'll see. And there's two of them, so there's a total of 12 cores and 24 threads because they're hyper-threaded. And as you can see, there are six DIMM slots per CPU, which might seem ridiculous, but if you look right over here, I actually have 12 sticks of ECC registered RAM. This is server RAM, you know, nothing special, DDR3. Right over here, we have the Hyper 212 Evo. I'm actually gonna be replacing these two server coolers right here. They're just there for testing purposes. And I actually have two of these, so it's gonna keep the system really cool, and even though there's not gonna be overclocking, it's always, a good idea to keep your CPUs at a good temperature. And over here we see the 750 watt power supply by EVGA. This is a bronze rated semi-modular power supply. Actually, if you haven't seen the unboxing, check up in the info card up in the top right over here. And you can see at the end of that video, I have an unboxing. Oh, actually not shown here, I have a two terabyte hard drive and a 128 gigabyte SSD that aren't included here because they're actually in my current system right now. And the only reason that they're not in here is because I need to use them to edit this video. And for the heart of this video, this is the Ultra Gladiator. That's right, this case is actually called the Ultra Gladiator, which is how I came up with the name for the build. But if you haven't seen my first video, again, link right up here. I taught how to build a computer and the test system I used was built in this case, but this case was actually black, this black that you see right here. But this is the reason that I made this video, so let's get into how I modded it. The reason I decided to mod this case instead of buying a new one is twofold. For one, the case would lower the cost of the build by a significant amount of both time and money since I wouldn't have to find and purchase a new one. And the other reason is that I've always loved how large the side panel window is, and you can see it right here. This would be perfect for mounting an LED strip to highlight both the two CPUs along with the Hyper 212s, which would probably be what most people are drawn to by this build anyway. Without further ado, here's how I modded it. The tools I needed for this process included my case, white paint, white Plasti Dip, black paint, air cans, and a drill for removing unneeded parts within the case. You might also want some sort of metal cutting tool like a Dremel if you need to make any more intricate modifications. To begin, I washed all the parts down by blowing off the dust and finishing them off with some alcohol wipes. Since I'll be painting, I want to avoid anything that can get in the way of the finish. Then I set up shop outside because I didn't want to get high on fumes. That could ruin the paint job. The final step before painting would be to remove the 3.5 inch drive cage at the front of the case. I needed to get rid of it since the motherboard in this build is extended ATX, which requires more width than a standard ATX. This simply involved grabbing the right size drill bit and drilling out the pop rivets one by one. This case also had another drive cage, but it was only attached with some Phillips head screws. I wiped down the case once more and it was ready for painting. For the PC case itself, I would just be using regular white spray paint for the outside and black for the inside. Then for the components, I'll be using Plasti Dip. This is similar in finish to the white paint that I bought, but it's a rubber-based paint that I could peel off later if I want to resell the parts or paint them a different color. 
I gave each component three coats of paint and two coats of clear coat so that the paint will hold up better against scratches. Now when all was said and done, was it perfect? No. But was it exactly what I wanted? Without a doubt, yes. As you can see here from the finished product, this is far from a spot-free job since there are quite literally spots on a few of the major components, and that could turn some people off. But really I think that again, this is representative of this channel. This was my first case modding job apart from the DIY open air case, link in the info box above, and my first painting job. So as this channel and our community grows, I believe so will my skills and abilities. That's it for part one of Gladiator. Be sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed this and if you're excited to see part two. Also click subscribe if you wanna support this channel and be notified of new videos. Leave a comment below letting me know what you think of Gladiator so far and go ahead and list your crazy PC builds below too. I'm Lee from ComTV. But to see a complete list of the parts and their pricing, check out the PC part like PC part picker link. Man.